Want to learn about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and the metaverse? Join richtv.io. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich, and we have a Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of Vox Royalty Corp, Kyle Floyd. How are you doing today, Kyle? Rich, fantastic. It's been a little bit, little, been a little while since we've been on and, and good to be with you and update the audience. Yeah, really excited to speak. I know that you guys just had some big news and we're going to talk about it. So Kyle, Vox reported outstanding results for Q2, growth in royalty receipts from approximately US 1 million to US 3,165,000. What were the drivers to this success? Well, Rich, when we first went public in May 2020, we were essentially pre-revenue. We had one producing asset, and now we're at six producing assets. And wow. complementing that growth in producing assets is that our operating partners, by and large, um, have really increased their production rate. We've seen metal prices increase since we've made our investments. And so that compounding factor of more assets in production, six producing assets, complemented with increases in their production rate and higher metal prices, you get this compounding factor that really helps royalty companies excel in this type of market environment. And recall, it's something that we've talked about previously, we're not impacted by the increasing inflation and the increasing costs that are afflicting mining companies. So we're getting the cream on the top without the risk exposure that these mining companies are facing. That being said, our operating partners are performing brilliantly. Um, and, and these results um, are really are really driven off of that exceptional operating performance. Now, Kyle, congratulations on all your success. And when we interviewed you about a year ago, we started to do these interviews. You did say that you expected these types of results. So this is not a surprise for you. Now, it's fantastic that while many companies and some royalty company peers specifically continue to underwhelm and deliver to the downside, Vox continues to out, outperform each year since going public in 2020. What's your secret sauce? Well, Rich, I, I appreciate that acknowledgement. I mean, we've worked really, really hard for our shareholders. First and foremost, we're a shareholder-driven business. Um, I'm one of the larger shareholders. Our management team uh, in total owns approximately 15% of the shares outstanding. So we're very incentivized um, to see it from a shareholder perspective and execute with that um, at the forefront of our business. But really it's a product of being around for almost 10 years, really sowing the seeds um, in the form of generating competitive advantages. It's, it's no secret the royalty sector is competitive. There have been a lot of new entrants to the space, but it's a lot of entrants that don't have the competitive advantages. They don't have the intellectual property. They don't have a team that's been operating in the sector for more than a decade and almost 50 years combined on our team. And so that's allowing us to find better deals on better assets that are going to generate better returns for our investors um, than really anybody else in the sector. And, and so it's been a lot of hard work to do that, but it's been us really investing the time, the resources, and the capital, um, and the patience of our investors that's allowed us to build those advantages and then execute on those. And you guys are executing, and it's, it's phenomenal to watch it evolve and grow. And something that I think is lost on many investors and the market is that your gross profit is very high. And in a market like this, investors are looking for profitable businesses and revenue. And we, we're not in a market where hype is really working as much as it used to. So what that means with your gross profit being very high is that your revenue, when deducted for depletion to the ore bodies, is much higher than many of your comps. Why is that? Well, Rich, that's explained really well. Um, appreciate that because I think it's a fact that's lost on many is the fact is with the royalty space being so competitive right now, um, you have a lot of royalty companies buying assets. If it's worth $1, they're paying $1. Well, what that means is they're not really generating a return for their investors that own their company. What they're doing is they're inflating revenue without actually inflating profit. And so conversely, Vox has been able to find great assets at great valuations, which means that's really we're widening the profit margins in this industry for our company. But the backdrop to that is we're seeing competitors and other companies operating in the space, they're paying two times net asset value for royalties these days. 
we're buying assets at anywhere from 0.2 to 0.6 times net asset value on average, which means we have this exceptionally high profit margin where most of the sector is actually, should be probably writing off their assets over time, but it speaks to how valuable royalties are and that there are companies that are willing to pay two times net present value for assets for that option value. So when you boil it all down, we're finding a way to generate outsized profits while also keeping that option value and enhancing that option value over time for our investors. So with Vox, you have to have your cake and eat it too. With every other royalty company right now, you're just hoping you have to have metal prices go higher. That's the bottom line. For them to be making money on the new royalties that they're buying, if metal prices don't perform, if their production and expansion of the resources don't happen, you're gonna probably lose money on those deals. So that's the difference with Vox is we're finding a way to create current profit margin and also keep that long-term optionality. And that's because of those competitive advantages that we touched on. Now, the market is kind of all over the place right now. There's all kinds of noise. What are the reasons investors should be confident in their positions in Vox or in taking a position in Vox? Sure. Well, we all know that we're almost in unprecedented inflationary times right now. And so Vox is uniquely positioned in this climate because we're taking top line revenue. That's what we get from our investments. We're not, it's not a net profit interest. We're not getting a profit margin from the mining companies. We're getting that revenue and that percent of revenue. So all of the bottom line risk that mining companies face, we're immune to. And that's, and that's a huge factor to consider. The other thing is that we're now at six producing assets. When we first started talking, we were at a number far less than that. We expect that producing asset count to be double digits as we, as we exit 2023. So we have this compounding where the assets that we have are getting better. The new assets that are coming online are going to continue to produce. And if it, we don't need metal prices to go higher to continue delivering these types of results. In fact, when we bought these assets, we forecasted lower metal prices. So for the investors looking for that commodity exposure, you're going to win with Vox. Even if metal prices drop, we're obviously going to get that compounding effect if metal prices go higher. So you get a very, very solid company from that perspective. The other, you know, and the last thing I'll say is we have an abundance of, I think, some of the most material catalysts you could ask for from a company. We filed a 40F with the NASDAQ. Um, we're highly confident that's going to get done at the end of the day to where we're going to be NASDAQ listed in the very near future. We'd expect that this quarter. We're starting to have the board conversations and discussions around how we're going to continue to return capital to investors. We've been active on our buyback, but you know, we're probably leaning towards um, you know, really heavily evaluating a dividend policy. So oh. that's, a very, that's a very heavy catalyst. And, and Rich, that's driven because off of our results and the fact that we've made good investments for our shareholders. We've been disciplined in what we've bought and, and really cultivating a portfolio for our shareholders that's allowing us to make those decisions where most royalty companies that are at our, you know, call it the junior end of the market are, are so far off from being able to do something like that. And that's just a, a byproduct of what we've been delivering for shareholders quarter after quarter after quarter. And it's compounded in such a way that now we're able to have those types of discussions with our shareholders. So it's an abundance of catalysts. We expect our revenue to be much higher um, through the rest of this year into 2023 and beyond. Um, we think that NASDAQ listing is, is relatively um, in our near future. Uh, and then we're gonna continue looking at these opportunities to, to deliver capital and, and um, returns back to our shareholders through those two forms, buyback or dividend. Uh, and so we just believe that we're in one of the strongest positions of any royalty company out there, certainly um, within our snack bracket. Wow, that's music to my ears. So to recap, you're looking at potentially providing a dividend for shareholders. You're planning on potentially buying back shares. Those are two huge catalysts. You're potentially going to get listed on the NASDAQ. So that's a lot of catalysts coming up for investors. Now, for the investors that are learning about you for the first time or are thinking about investing, what's the best way for them to reach you, Kyle? So voxroyalty.com is a good place to just get a good overview on the business. IR at voxroyalty.com is a great way to reach me. I'm on there quite often. And so any specific questions, uh, we're very happy to, to be engaged on, on that platform. And then we're, of course, on all the social media channels as well. Uh, but those would be the best ways to get in touch and learn a little bit more. We're here with the CEO of Vox Royalty Corp, Kyle Floyd. I must take your attention to the symbol. The symbol in Canada is Vox, V-O-X. The symbol in America is V-O-X-C-F. Put it on your radar, put it on your watch list. I must remind you that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. 
past performance is not always an indication of future results. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, this is a company that I think has an incredible future, has really grown and grown its revenue and grown its assets over the last year since we've been talking. Really, really excited to see what you guys continue to do. Kyle, we'd love to invite you back on our show. Anytime you have big breaking news or anything you want to discuss, we'd love to invite you back to our community so you can tell us what's going on with your company and congratulations on another great quarter and all of your success. Appreciate that, Rich. Um, I'll look forward to coming back on. And you know, the expectation is we're going to be able to talk about some of these catalysts that we just spoke about and, uh, and, and how well that's positioning the business. So appreciate it. Always a pleasure. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the winners and we bring them to you first. Thank you for watching, everybody. This is your host, Rich from Rich to be Live with Kyle Floyd, the CEO of Vox Royalty Corp, saying, have a nice day. We'll see you soon.